What's up, everybody? Welcome to our first podcast. Everybody's doing it, so we're going to give it a shot. Our first uh, topic is going to be the cleat buying guide, which we just published. Jake is going to be joining me. I'm Mike. Uh, we're the What Pros Work Guys, and uh, we look at a lot of cleats, and we have a lot of opinions, so hope you enjoy it. So you you spent how much for the Jordans? They were 95 both, both, both last year and this year. There was MCS version of the 4s and the 12, both 95 Okay. I noticed that the MCS is, like, significantly cheaper um more more affordable and uh, you know there's a lot of guys in the pros that use the the MCS the the plastics i and if you're playing a 20 game schedule it's uh pretty much uh, i feel like no loss if you're playing the infield there's no loss uh, i, I if you, well especially as you creep into your adult baseball and you know this man men's league and like for me the the performance boost you get from wearing metal is great and there obviously is one i'm not debating that at all but half these fields i'm playing on aren't groomed or manicured i mean you lose it just playing on a shit field yeah so as a bigger guy that i'm not worried about you know losing one tenth of a step but i'm not that fast anyway i'd rather go for comfort over function so you're saying you you're saying you you can't even dig into the field anyways sometimes i mean i'm playing in massachusetts in april may you know it, it's the field's still frozen from the winter or it's not manicured it's not taken care of it's a city field that you know they just kind of let go and to me the difference between metal and molded performance wise as someone who played college baseball and played baseball their entire life almost goes unnoticed when you're playing on shit fields so yeah for me i'd rather pay less money be more comfortable and it's not even the money but i'd rather be more comfortable wearing an mcs makes sense to me for me i think in general california has better fields than actually the West, there's the no weather. doubt there's no doubt about it yeah, no, yeah, 100% I, fact. I played on those city boston fields too and they are they're awful uh but yep. the california fields in general are better kept or you know it doesn't snow it doesn't ice doesn't do anything like that so in general we have better fields the, the metals are are effective but for an outfielder i would never even consider uh plastic cleats because it, it is the difference between slipping and, and getting a good first step you know what why don't we talk about first what what cleat you wore last year all right uh, what cleat we each wore last year and and maybe the strengths and weaknesses and then what if it's got a if we're thinking of get, getting the same thing last year i wore the jordan 4 mcs they were all white with the black i don't i don't know what they nice. call that color. It's on the way. yeah it's like an oreo like you know I, i'm definitely a four of all the jordans like i was never it's like a religious thing and i never really got into it to be honest with you i think most jordans are ugly but the fours are wow. Wow. The f- that's, that's kind of- hey man I, I i'm 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 sitting in my ivory tower so uh, no one's no one's gonna come for me but the fours are sick they're the ones that dexter fowler gave to obama and that's that was that was the right move i, I would say i think if you're gonna give a a jordan to uh, to the president I'm it's gonna be sorry to interrupt but the jordan 11s would be a, a good one anyway but go ahead Wait, let me right. see let me see let me see which one Jordan 11s are. And that's another uh, sacrilegious thing to not know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm honestly debating hanging up right now, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, those are nice. Those are the ones that CC wears. Those are sick. Those are sick. They're a lot like, the, to me, they look a lot like the, the 12s, which I think I would, I'd prefer. Oh, is this the Space Jam? Is this the Space yeah, Jams? The, yeah, the Space Jam. Space Jam 11 is probably one of the most popular Jordans of all time. Yeah, yeah, those are sick. CC wore those. I don't know. I'm trying to think of. Oh, I think David Price Jeter, got the hook up on those. Did way two. back. Jeter did way way back. Before, I don't know if you've heard of. Have you heard of Derek Jeter? Yeah, I have. Before have before the Jeter line entirely, he wore those. Ooh, probably probably a little bit before the, the Jeter line. Yeah, yeah, those are sick. So if so if you had a choice, that'd be the it'd be the 11s. And I think oh, they yeah. might they might come out with those too. No, I'm hoping so. See, the only thing about wearing a pair of cleats though, that that nice is like, am I gonna perform good enough? Or well enough to wear them. You know what I mean? Probably because not. You can't. You can't. You can't, <laughs> you can't wear those cleats and then end up hitting like no. fifty. No, you which got. I'm always, no. I'm always at for at least a stretch of the season. No, that's the that's the guy that that like you have to you should have to take them off after the game if you're hitting if you're hitting two seventy or lower in a men's league. Even I would say I would argue that it's like three fifty is a threshold. If you're not if if you're not the like middle of the order 
uh, you know, double a game kind of guy, then I don't know, man. Double a game, a double a game. I mean, that's come on now. <laughs> even even the white even the white Jordan fours last year, and I don't want to put myself on blast, but there was the first half of the season. I mean, I was right around two hundred, finished a hair over three hundred, but there was a little bit of time where I was in the batter's box, like Jake, you're not good enough to wear these cleats. <laughs> Was the, and the catcher, you you felt the catcher judging you. He's like, man, this guy's got this guy's rolled over twice on two fifty eight mile an hour fastballs. Exactly. Like, exactly. take those exactly. shoes off. Guys, guys would get to first base and be like, nice cleats, and immediately in my mind, I'd be like, oh, they're they're making fun. And with that said, you you wore the the you said the the fours all year last year. Jordan fours, MCS. So molded, not metal, because I am, as I mentioned, I'm a, I'm a first baseman. Uh, really feel the difference between metal and molded at this point in my life. You know, I'm 32 years old, played in college, was a pitcher, wore metal, metal, metal. And then the last couple of years, you know, even playing just 25 to 40 games a summer, uh, the metal just started to really hurt. You know, obviously not playing on the best manicured fields. Sometimes they're dry as a bone. You know, it's hot up here in the summer in Mass. But and in that situation, you, you can actually, like, seriously hurt yourself, too. Yeah. I mean, you, can pop, yeah. you can pop an ACL real quick on those fields. Yeah. I've, I've dug in with metal cleats before and rolled over an ankle because the the ground was so hard. So, and yeah, the- I go I go Jordan 4 MCS. Uh, give it mediocre reviews, I would say. Not the most comfortable cleat. A little more comfortable than the metal version, I, I would be willing to bet. But a little narrow on the foot. I had some uh, issues where it didn't hold up. And I don't even know what to call it, but the little arms on the side that I would lace through, they were plastic. They broke. So Really? Yeah, yeah. And like game like 15, those things were already gone. Oh my god, man! Like for, where you tie your shoe as tight as you can, like that kind of area. Like, yeah, there's like a little arm on the floor that comes across that you would thread through. Yep. Uh, and I broke it. I broke it. And honestly, like I was lifting a lot. I was pretty strong, so I don't know if it was my strength, no big deal, or or my speed. Like I don't know if it was my speed that loosened. The, I don't know, but didn't didn't hold up for the whole season. So disappointing. <laughs> you disappointing you that. you muscled through the fours, but yeah, you weren't happy with them. No, I'm not thrilled. So then, obviously, what I did, what every good consumer does, is I went out and bought the twelves, uh, just assuming that they would be better. <laughs> well, they're they were they they came eight versions later. So if they didn't fix that problem, then like, that's true. It's true. You know, People forget that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that 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 could be uh, that could be the solution. But also, like the the Jordans are so elaborate. I mean, one one thing is completely separate from the other. So the twelves, they're to me, they're the the sevens are nice too. But the, the, the 12s are really nice. They, the people that customize them, everybody who's doing, who's sending in those uh, best of, you know, best cleat of 2016, everyone is saying they like the 12s uh, in some form, like if Soto did them or if, if Mish, uh, Mosh did them. But yep. um, they seem like they would perform better just from like a visual. I think those would probably perform better just because there's too yeah. much, there's too much other, like there's too much adornment on the, on the fours, whereas the twelves are really. It's just like it seems like it's very kind of singular. There's not a lot of pieces moving around. Yeah, I agree. I agree. They look like they'll perform better, but I haven't put them on yet and walked around. So and that's term- and that's another thing. The, the you said that they didn't hold up for 15 games. You know, Mookie Betts wears a fours and he gets he probably gets a new pair every every five days. Um, and that's what's difficult about doing what pros wear is like you know we see these guys wearing them and we're like oh man they must be durable they must hold up well no they probably they probably put them you know put them out of out to pasture a lot quicker than we do um okay so yeah so moving moving right along you those are the ones you 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 give the mediocre reviews for me i wore the um mizuno heist yep you were one of maybe (laughs) maybe ten thousand people to do that if that and (laughs) i swear man well first of all i got them mizuno sent them to me um straight from the 2015 all-star game in cincinnati no big deal Yep. Um, uh, uh, Mizuno baseball something on Instagram. At, yep. Let me get you that yep. handle. Uh, <laughs> thank you to them. But they were, I think, I I came out of the New Balance Minimus, which again New Balance was kind to to send through. And dude, I put the Mizunos on. I played one game, and I don't think I went back to the Minimus. The Mizunos were similar a lot very similar but they were 
felt more stable. Yep. They felt, uh, first of all, they were dirty in my view. They were, and I thought they were the best looking cleat on the field. Um, you know, they were silver. I don't think, I don't know if they released that, that colorway. They were this beautiful silver color, yeah, I think so. but man, I felt quick. I felt quick. And, uh, I, I would recommend the hell out of those cleats for especially, especially, uh, outfielders. Yeah. I was going to say, so you're, you're more of a speed guy outfielder. So that's your perspective. Yep. It's just interesting that we're, we're having this discussion that you don't like Jordan and you're swearing by the Mizuno heist. And I have nothing against Mizuno, <laughs> but people are going to be appalled. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I know. I didn't expect it either. Before the Minimus, I was on the 4040s, the originals, yep. and I wore those for two years because those are sick. I think now if I was going to get New Balance, I'd go to the 3000s. Yeah. They seem to have transition them into more more of a sporty look like before it would look like miguel cabrera wearing you know like some some serious like boot style they were they were like uggs on uh, at first base and like i they just i mean other guys that were athletic wore them and miguel cabrera is an incredible athlete just not much of a not a speed guy but 3000s have definitely kind of changed and changed my perspective perspective on him um That's one thing that uh miguel cabrera and i have in common we're both we're both not really speed guys yes and that's uh-huh. and that's where it that, ends and that's where it, it ends he's not a speed guy and that's why you know we have so much in common mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's about it yeah yep um and you you can hit a a low sinking 95 mile an hour uh two seam fastball 420 feet to the opposite field or I can't. That's where I can't do that. Yet. That's where it stops. Yet. That's where it stops. <laughs> yeah, the the trouts. That's the first one on the list for for 2016. We're looking at the our buying guide, which we just published for baseball cleats. Um, and the first one that we go over is the Zoom Trout Three. The Trout we've seen. We first saw it, I think, at the uh, the All Star game last year with the uh, the Futures Futures game. Everybody was rocking them. They were sick. They were, you know, the loudest cleat on the field, obviously. Uh, and then, obviously, Trout took them, uh, took them home throughout the rest of the season with these, like, uh, really, really nice, uh, subtle camo with, some, with obviously, the, the Angels red. Those were, those were legit. Nike's taking a lot, you know, taking steps forward with those Trouts and, and really pushing the game. Um, ben has them... At one, they're one hundred and forty dollars, which is way too expensive for me. Yikes! Ouch! The tough one is small. One hundred and forty dollars. Yeah. You're paying, and, and and you're gonna. I mean, you better wear them for two seasons at that point. At least for yeah. me. I mean, the toughest part is about this is if you are one. Obviously, if you're a parent of a growing AAU kid that, or or just a baseball player in general that is thirteen, fourteen years old and wants these cleats, and then by next season he's two or three sizes bigger anyway true and two nike changes up the model so quick you know every all-star game there's a new you know upgrade to this and i feel like trout has how many trout signatures have there been three in maybe three years it doesn't yeah. even seem like it's been three years yeah because they because they they piggyback them right on top of one another yep so yeah for one for i mean maybe not for other for a lot of people especially you know what look at it this way it's like uh a good pair of pants. If you're gonna wear the pants a lot, buy a good pair of pants. If you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna play twenty games in a in a you know a men's league, you know, do you really need one hundred and forty dollar cleats and pay? You know, you're paying obviously a, like by game, you're pl- paying a, a decent chunk of money. But if you're if you're playing one hundred and twenty games, and these things are gonna hold up. I mean, I, I, yeah. I justify it. At that point, I would justify it because... Yeah, and as, as a, a grown-ass man who plays in usually two men's leagues, I'll still pay the $140 if they look sick enough, which I got to be honest, these new colorways that they've dropped for the Zoom Trout 3, the photo blue ones they have, oh the my white. God. Those I'm are... Gonna out, yeah, I'm going to have to find a team that has a similar colorway <laughs> so, I can, so I can buy the cleats. So. You're... you're, you're uh... All red, and you you're wearing the photo blue. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a different team. Let Thank me. you, Nike. Thanks. <laughs> well, I you did tell me though you got the new uh, those white socks. Or what, what's the name of the the Brain Tree? What is it? No, the the Boston. We're 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 
Boston-based White Sox team, but we're all all retro. So the White Sox alternate. I believe they wear them on Sundays now, every Sunday. It's like the throwback from the 70s. And it's one of the, the sickest time. jerseys. That's one of the sickest jerseys, hands down. Is those they should they should do away with the black and white because it, it just doesn't do it for me. If I'm if I'm gonna be looking at cleats and you know gloves and all this stuff all day, like mix it up. Uh, I like you know, I don't, it's about it's about us and uh and how we feel looking at uniforms. It's not about the team and selling merchandise. Has it's nothing about has nothing to do with Jake that. And Mike, are, Jake and Mike are sick and tired of looking at your lame, whack, boring uniform so change it up yeah and and they've got the cubs across town stealing all the headlines and you know obviously in some of the best most classic uniforms ever and then go to the south side and it's just like you know General. yeah ho General. um here we are yeah. we're the we're the white Sox. we're we're not trying to do too much but when they go when they go out on sundays i wonder what their record is wearing those jerseys i bet it's better that's what yeah, I, I, I look good play good Let's just do no research and let's just say that their record's better when they wear the alternate. <laughs> alternate. Anyways, all right, let's get back to the um, the, yeah, the cleats here. So we, we, we've gone through the Trout 3. Um, it looks like it's really comfortable. I mean, I wish I could – I wish we could check every – I wish we could test every single one of these things, but it's just not realistic. We don't play enough. We need to get these uh, – we need to get some college guys to check some stuff out for us. We'll get there. One thing I did notice, and I wanted to get these in MCS, and some of the reviews read that for people with wider feet, which is me, that foot area, that top of the foot into the toe, is a little stiff and not very wide. So that, that's the comment I read. That's yeah. uh, based on one review mm-hmm. and my eyes. So well, not a lot of research. But yeah, somebody did say that they were stiff, and then he, he also said that they loosened up maybe after a little bit, but... I don't know. I, I is that is that something you should deal with? You know, it's it's kind of like the it, it's it's similar to the gloves. Like, if I'm gonna spend three fifty on a pro preferred, is it worth it? If I'm only gonna play twenty games, it's gonna take me two years to break it in. I still have a, like a gorgeous Linscom pro preferred, but I I used it and I still I you just don't feel comfortable with it. You know. Um, yeah. It shouldn't shouldn't stuff be playable right out of the box? That's kind of if especially if you're not playing a, a a really heavy heavy schedule. But yeah, it kind of goes back to the goes back to that. You know, if you're playing 120 games, yeah, I mean, back, can't be picky, right? I mean, I can't have it both ways. I can't complain that the Jordan fours were poor quality and didn't hold up to a whole season, and then when Nike makes a better cleat that lasts longer, complain because it's a little stiff. So yeah. Well, maybe maybe Nike's not for you, but you are like it's like only Jordan touches touches this. Uh, you yeah, know. pretty much. No, I mean, I, you know what's really growing on me is Adidas stuff's really growing on me. But let's keep going here. I'm sorry for the force. The Trout Three um, Pro, the the budget the budget quote unquote model looks sharp. Has basically the same same feel to it. Um, Ben says that it replaces the fuse and premium mesh with synthetic leather and a cheaper mesh. Um, yep. Phylon, which I have no idea what that is, replaces the zoom. Uh, again, something I, I don't really know what it is. Uh, I think that's probably the sole. And yep. then... Um, Ben's speaker guy, by the way. We should, we should make sure ben, people know that. Yeah, Ben is our... Is our shoe footwear expert and he's been, he's been awesome uh the weight of the pro which is the cheaper model is is half an ounce heavier than the the trout three you know premium yeah it's not uh, but weird. it is much less expensive and ben thinks it's going to get the job done i believe him um you know if i if i'm Buying a pair of cleats, I don't think I'm going to be able to justify $140. So if you want that look and, and you know, a marginally equal feel, then I, I think the that's a really good option at that price, too. And Nike did a nice job making it pretty affordable, $70 to $85. Those are, that's reasonable. Very reasonable. Moving on to the 
Ultrafly Elite, which is the the my your boy, the editor's choice. I first saw it. I was covering the uh, the Oakland A's and the uh, the Houston Astros at the end of the season, and little name drop there. I looked down. Little, yeah, little name drop. Uh, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, me and George Springer, are best best buds from way back. We um, we had an Instagram conversation once. And he sent wow. me a picture of his glove. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm going to the wedding. I don't even know if he has a girlfriend, but I You're saw right. him. Never. I saw him in these shoes, and I'm like, oh my god, what the hell are those things? Those things look like rocket boosters. And he wasn't even supposed to be wearing them. I found out later. Nike wasn't happy about it, but he oh. he made him look good. Uh, I think he K'd three times in a row in them. And he walked past me. He goes, you know what? Next time, I'm going to, my goal is forward progress. That's what he said to me. I was just standing there on the side. And I, I think he just need. I don't, he didn't know it was what pros were. He was just like needed to talk to somebody. He was like a psychology right. thing. He walked yep. past me. He's like, forward progress. Next time I'm up there, that's what it's going to be. And next time up, he laced a double in the gap. So, um, you know. Sessions with sessions with Mike seem to seem yep. to do him right. Now, do you think? Uh, do you think that he was talking to himself, possibly, or was he definitely talking to you? No, he was talking. He was. He was talking to me because he he looked me in the eye, and yep. I th- and I think I even said something back, and then he said something in response to that. So, like wow, I said, you really are, you uh, really are gonna be invitation is in the mail. The. Vapor Elite, what is it? Vapor Ultra Fly Elite. Nike's always got like a jumble of names. Uh, those blue ones, the blue with the Volt Green. Uh, I'm not. I don't wear blue, but it's like you said about the trouts. I think I'm just gonna go out there with my green black jersey and then wearing these blues. They're just yep. so dirty. I can't even stand it. Um, but then Ben came came in and he said. That you don't even need to buy the real expensive ones because the 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 next level down is just as good. See, the only difference oh. that I don't like the only difference between the the Ultra Fly Elite and the Pro, there's just there's so many more colorways in the Ultra Fly Elite. You yeah. know? Yeah. I'm a colorway guy. Yeah. Yeah. You're. <laughs> I'm a colorway guy. You're like, a colorway guy. Right? That's why I wear Jordan. I'm not a performance guy. I'm a colorway guy. Take note. Yeah, that's, jog it. He, he's not a performance guy. He's more of a. He's more of a. Um, on the surface, I'm gonna. Make, I'm gonna look good, even if I. Yeah. I I I'm with that. I mean, I, but if I'm a Mizuno guy, I don't think I could say that. You can't. You can't, and that's not a knock on Mizuno, even though it kind of is. But it's it's just more. Uh, you know, speaks to your desire to be a better ball player. Whereas for me, I want to wear cleats that I shouldn't wear and then aspire to play up to that level. <laughs> Fake it before you make it. No, you, 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 the, it should be stated for the, for the record that you were a better, are a better baseball player than me. Uh, that's why I can't, I can't just try to make it look good. Um, the Ultrafy Elite is, shockingly to me actually heavier than the ultra Fru- ultra fly pro the the budget model somehow it's heavier even though it has the hybrid plastic and metal um set up on the cleats which is what got me so excited about this cleat um and made me really feel like you know this is this is the one for me because i've, I've seen so many um so many metal cleats in my life that I've I've wanted to see what's it what's it like to maybe take off a little bit of that weight in the metal and put in some plastic where it's not as you know not as essential to your your grip. Yep. Um, so I was like I just assumed like man okay that means there's weight savings but it's not um, it's it's lighter than the trout um, by I think like about one point two ounces. But it's actually heavier than the one, the Pro, uh, the Ultrafly Pro, which is, you know, going to be metal. 
all, right. all throughout. So what do you think yeah. about that cleat? This cleat is, it looks great. It's probably, looks-wise to me, I'm more on your side where this cleat looks so sick that I want to buy it and wear it no matter what. But these low cuts have just always been like, I can't do it. I'm a bigger guy. Uh, I have sprained my ankle like every other season. Every time I try to wear a low cut cleat, I sprain my ankle. So really, it's not, yeah, all the time. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why you, you, it's that's why you should be in the MCS. That's that's bar none. Yeah. And that's the same thing as Buster Posey. That's why he switched, not because of sprained ankles, because of like literally he almost snapped his ankle clean off. But you shouldn't be if you're a big big boy and and. You're a big hitter. I, I would recommend the MCS, and if you're playing, if you're not playing a, a really, you know, running intensive position, first base yep. catcher, you're you're good. I should not, and this is not anything against the cleat or, you know, a comment on metal cleats in general. Just for you know, to hammer home this point, I wore metal cleats one game last year. New Balance sent us their new replacement for the uh, for their minimus. The four oh six. 406, I wore it for one game, Mike, and I sprained my ankle on a turf field. One game in a metal cleat, and in the second inning, I went, a kid hit a line drive at me hard, and in my mind, I was moving, like, I, my body was moving a little bit too fast, like, my mind was where it should be. I was thinking triple play. Line drive right at me, the kid on first, I see break already, I know I have him, so I'm trying to get to the base and catch the ball at the same time, and then throw it a second for the triple play. In my mind, I had already made this play and was featured on SportsCenter. <laughs> what actually happened was I went down as if I had been shot, and then I had to crawl to first base to get the double play. Oh, at least you got the double play. Okay. I did get the double play, but in my mind, I had turned the triple play. I mean, people had me on their shoulders, and then the next <laughs> inning, I'm out of the game with an ice pack on. Yeah. And everyone's like, dude, what happened? And I had to be like, I turned, I turned my ankle. My thought, my thought was you were gonna say your your mind was on triple play, and actually what happened was you fell down and the ball it was a single, <laughs> and two runs scored. <laughs> no, no, I got I got two. You but got it would have been. I mean, the triple play would have been like very attainable. So yeah, the Ultrafly Elite is one hundred and ten dollars, um, which you know, in the grand scheme of things, I guess is is not that outrageous anymore uh, uh, um, for for me if you know looks wise i think this is the the nicest looking cleat on uh, on the market although there's a lot of really close competitors especially from new balance in my opinion uh, but the pro the 80 dollar pro the 30 dollar less version doesn't have the hybrid cl uh, plate which we just learned doesn't even really add much uh to your to the performance um it, it's gonna get it done uh, i would again i'd recommend the cheaper version there you know ben recommends it he says the difference is traditional tongue on the pro versus the sleeve on the elite which to you know it's, that's probably something that's you know person to person got to be a preference whether you like that sleeve or not i think I can't. I think I have one pair of shoes that has that, and I love it. Yeah, I love um, it too. But also, you know, it has to fit you right too. You know, if 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 it's restrictive or if it's just loose, you know, the the traditional tongue is more like a one size fits all. I feel like uh, there's also no fly wire on the pro. Not sure really what what you lose there. Um, ben thinks that the traditional tongue allows for a better fit as well, just like I, I had mentioned, and then um, everything else is identical. So the colorways are, are, are pretty solid too. I, I'm, I'm a fan of that all silver look. I'm really, I, I really like that look. And it doesn't look as bad dirty either. Can I jump in real quick about the, the hybrid thing too? Even though it might, you know, I haven't tried it on. I can't speak from personal experience about the performance, but it is nice to see Nike try something that isn't the exact same with performance because I feel like their cleats year in and year out are all about the style, not about fit, performance, anything like that. And that's a little bit of research mixed with personal opinion. And I see these other brands kind of focusing on 
performance, and it's good to see Nike try something that other companies are doing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they definitely. It's getting a little, a little bit busier up uh, up on top with the in baseball. I mean, no doubt about it. There's way more competition than there ever was, and yeah. I think Nike has been sitting pretty for you know. I don't know how many, 20 years making cleats, you know, selling them without an issue, without real competition. And now, you know, they, they've got better looking cleats out there now and they've got better performing cleats out there now. So it's nice. Competition's always, we, we always win and that the, the consumer always wins. Definitely. Okay. So we, we, we're through Nike, the ones that we at least wanted to, wanted to talk about. We we talked about the the fours, Jordan fours and the twelves. The twelves seem to be, at least last year, uh, last season in the bigs. Those were the hottest cleats to have. Those were the ones that Strowman was always rocking. Uh, I know he had the fours as well, but they're also the you know some of the best looking cleats you you can buy. And it's so cool that new, uh, that Jordan's offering them now. Um, you know, I don't know if you, if you can speak to, it sounds like you got some 12s for this year. I did. I did. So I have the, the all red 12s again, MCS. So oh, I my, those ones with the, with that like kind of different, uh, fabric pattern on, on the top. Yep. Oh yep. my God. Those are so nice. Yeah. So like I said, uh, White Sox alternate uniforms, I'll have oh, those. With the, it's going to be a good year. So you got it. You better hit 400. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. I probably won't. But uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go up there thinking that I am and looking like I am. Yeah, yeah. I'd say they. I'd say people will will probably like move back the first Definitely. at bat in, on average. Yep. And then and you know what that means? That means bloop single. Bloopers. Yeah. Yep. Deal with that. Yeah. A little. A little. A little nubber over the shortstop. Yep, get fooled and flick the ball over the second baseman's head. Hey, man, that. still counts. Oh, and then you're, sorry. And when sorry. You, for all the other for all the other uh, lace jobs that go straight to the first baseman, you need one. You need one of those. Nah, you're right. Baseball gods, man, they're real. They're real, no doubt. Yep. Um, okay, so we're on to we're on to Under Armour now, which. I don't know, man. I, I'm confused. I'm confused by their their offerings this year. Um, I think in general, Under Armour is is kind of scattered. Uh, they have it seems like they have deals with certain retailers, and so you'll see some version of the yard that comes up, and you're just like, wait, what? I'm where did that come from? I've never seen that before. Um, that they just don't offer anywhere else, and um, they 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 stick with their lines like the the names don't change, but I don't know. I'm I'm kind of confused by what they're what they're given. Maybe there's more colorways coming in in like February and March, but um, pretty weak. If I'm being honest, the the ignite is one that Ben wanted to highlight uh, because of its its value qualities. Uh, it's, yep. He says it's one of the best kept secrets in baseball footwear. Uh, been around forever. And it's a great budget alternative to the to the, you know the top model. Um, it mimics the deception, and then that's another thing uh, you know I want to mention is because Under Armour seems to be just kind of confused about what the names of their cleats are this year. Uh, the deception looks exactly like. The ignite and the heater looks exactly like the yard, right? Am I am I right about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've we've had a couple back and forth where we're trying to identify which is which. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I and, and even on the Under Armour site, it says um, basically the identical cleat with very few colorways, if even more than just the black and white. Um, they're the same price, but they have a different name, and yeah. they're they're almost identical. Very difficult to confusing. to it's, differentiate. It's confusing for sure. And, and can I say this about Under Armour too? Probably not going to be a popular opinion by many, but 
for some reason, every time I find myself being like, oh, this is a great looking Under Armour cleat, it's always been customized by some by someone. Mm. You know, and I'm looking at these, the the heater mid with the little, you know, I, I, I don't know what to call it, I guess, a booty. Yeah, yeah, the sock. That That's the same thing that, yeah, booty, I think, is also a good a good term for it. Yeah. Yeah, so I love that feature, but like, on their standard you, color. You love, you love the booty. You love the booty? I love the booty. I love the booty. I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, I, I remember seeing Roberto Wazuna's custom uh, done by, I believe, Nomad Customs. And th- those were dope. But those are the only ones I've seen that have really done anything for me. Other than Harper's, which are, you know, yeah, a different conversation entirely. Yeah, I would say, yeah. And then, I, you know what, we, we, we should also mention that they are heavily uh, keying in on the... Uh, on Harper's model, so I shouldn't be, be too greedy. I mean, these, but I, I wonder if they maybe kind of forgot or, or maybe neglected the other uh, the other cleats in the in the line because I don't know. I mean, I think the Deception's nice. It looks nice. Uh, I don't think it's a competitor for me. I'm not considering it. The Ignite being a cheaper option is probably. You know, something to, to look to look for if, if you're in, uh, you know, looking for a quality cleat at a, at a better price. I think the heater with that single color look, um, which Jack Peterson wore in the in the playoffs, I think that's a really nice looking cleat. Um, Trey Turner sent us through the his red and black. I think it was red and black, maybe also red and white. I can't remember of the yeah, red, he, black, and white. the highs and or the mids. And like, for the novelty of it, I thought they looked good. But then, as these things have aged on me, as I've seen them more, I'm just like, I don't know, man. Looks kind of dopey. Like, <laughs> well, not, yeah, I mean, the opposite you know, of dope, dopey. Yeah, dopey. You add the Y, and it's it's the opposite. That's how a grammar works. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, especially sandwiched and looking at you know what New Balance has done and what Nike has done from a pure aesthetics standpoint i kind of i tend to agree with you not as impressive as what some of these other brands have done in the last 12 months no no and i am of course taking you know, I'm, I'm discarding and not counting the harper one at all no and the harper one is is sick yeah and the colorways they're offering is awesome yep and the low that just came out is you know even more uh, crowd pleasing to me at least i think more people will be pumped about that low me too. Uh, I am for sure. I think Bryce was pumped about it too. I saw him wearing them um, often. I think he, yep. he he may have even favored them. Um, but we should also talk about that because I, I wanted to mention it. Um, I, I basically wanted to have a conversation about it because Bryce has this hybrid cleat. That's the reason I always was thinking we should get it, you know, where is the hybrid cleat? Where where is the Bryce style, which has the metals in the front and the uh, TPU or plastic or whatever you call it in the back? Um, and I think that that just makes so much sense from a from a comfort perspective. Look, you're you're on the balls of your feet, maybe you know thirty percent of the time, maybe even less than that. You're running probably ten percent of the time when you're playing baseball, if if that. Um, you're standing for the rest of it. You're standing around. You're on your heels. You yep. can, you're stretching. You're you're trying to do things to stay loose. We see uh, Giancarlo Stanton always out there stretching. It's exactly what I'm always doing. But I mean, at the, in, in general, you're just sitting back and you're you're getting cold. Um, and if you're sitting back on medals all game, you know that's why guys go to the to the TPUs because they don't. They know they're just standing there, you know, and they, they, they need something that's just going to allow them to be comfortable. Um, and so I, I thought that was genius on Bryce's part because, you know, that, that's a guy that does not take a play off. And when he needs it, when he go, when he needs the, the grip, he, he digs in and he, he gets it. But when he wants to, when he needs a break, he, he can sit back on his heels and, and get a little bit more comfort out of it. So I thought that was awesome. Um, and I was really hoping that they'd carry that over with the with the stock model, but it, they didn't. Bryce Bryce had a great answer why he said because everybody's playing on rock hard surfaces and you know 
you can't you can't have um, that hybrid plate when you can't even dig in in the first place. You need you need the metals. That's that was his argument. I, look, I, I see it. I just kind of romanticized about it. Ben is Ben the the cleat expert is a, is a, is a fan. Best looking model. Um, likes the one the low just like us. He says it's packs a uh, the same tech punch as the original, but it's a little bit better uh, price and and he thinks it's a little better looking. Um, he says though that right now the the low is only available in black and white. The whites though, oh my god, the whites. It's, it's so tempting to buy white cleats, you know, like, it's so tempting. But because they're so, it's just like any, it's just like any shoe. So this moment you walk out the door, you spill mustard on it. You didn't even, it rains mustard. Yep. It's, Who has you don't even eat mustard, mustard and you walk yep. home from wherever you were at and you have mustard on your shoe. I don't, I, I haven't had, I don't put mustard on my hot dogs. I don't put mustard on my hamburgers, but I've got mustard all over my white shoes. Yep. And that's why I don't buy white cleats because I often eat hot dogs when I'm, when I'm wearing them and I just yep. can't, I can't, I can't risk it. Yep. So, so the, uh, we're moving on. We got, uh, we got the Under Armour's out of the way. I think the last, the last statement, I guess could be yours, but, um, 120 for the, the Harper one low, Again, too expensive for me, but I don't know. Would, would you would you buy it? Would you take it or leave it? Oh, God, man, that's a tough question. Because obviously, as we as everyone knows, Bryce is our boy. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would try it on. I need to try these on. I've never worn an Under Armour cleat in my life, so I'm not going to just blindly jump to a brand. Looks alone, do I think it's worth 120? Yeah. I mean, when you look around at the what the competition is and what the price tags are, yeah, it, it validates that that price point. But I need to try it on okay oh here okay oh that's something we should talk about what stop posting your videos hitting home runs off of off of soft toss have some class it's gotta go man oh my god God. it's so annoying and it's it's so popular and there's like hundreds of comments underneath it it's just like oh understand it i don't God. Everybody. As a pitcher, as a pitcher, I know like some of my bullpens, especially inside, like I look pretty, pretty good, like pretty, like oh man, <laughs> this kid's great. And then guess what? Oh, you're going to Florida to play a nationally ranked team, and you get absolutely demolished and shit on. Yeah. So when I see these soft toss videos, all I can envision is that same person in a game. Yes. Looking like an absolute dink. Oh wait, they don't they don't throw it to you from 4 feet away at, at your belt um yeah. at not impressed, guys. at 8 miles an hour? Yeah, not impressed. Please not impressed. stop. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I think you can approve a lot of things doing soft toss. You know, by all means keep doing it. Just stop putting it on Instagram as if you had just broke Ted Williams <laughs> record. It's a swing that tells me I'm going to I'm going to strike you out in three pitches. Yes. Yes. Take shots you're going to shoot in the game. You know what I mean? Yes. Take game shots. Please. That's well said. On to New Balance. Yeah, Michael Jordan said that. <laughs> Did he say right that? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, I think Michael Jordan never saw a shot he didn't, he didn't take. Yep. Michael Jordan. All right. New Balance. Got On it. to... Oh... But while we while we are on that topic, I just gotta say also, uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady is Tom Brady's in the conversation with Michael Jordan. If he wins his fifth Super Bowl, it'll be an interesting conversation. It absolutely will. Tom Brady and Michael Boston, Jordan. In my opinion. I mean I, I do live in, in Boston, so you have to keep that in mind. Maybe a little biased, but yeah. Is it is it Mount Rushmore? American okay. ma- major American sports. I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw them out there. Okay, go ahead. Jordan. Yep. Brady. Yep. 
Ruth, and Gretzky. Okay. I mean, it would be it would be tough to argue all that. Uh, it, it just feels, for some reason, it feels weird to me having Ruth in there with a bunch of guys who are more current. So I'm just going to take out Ruth and just toss in Jeter just to make it more like, all right, let's do like the last 30 years. And that's a, that's a Red Sox fan saying that. So if you guys have hate well, mail, I can, I'll, uh, I'll get you Jake's. It's Jake I'll at whatproswear.com. Jake at whatproswear.com. Hit him intricate. up. Let him know he's an idiot and uh, that you guys will not serve him uh, <laughs> at any bar or restaurant in Boston. You don't have to let me know. I already know. That He's, I'm in idiot, but He's in Southie. He's in Southie. Yep. See it, Lincoln. Lincoln. <laughs> please do not serve him. No, you can't. You can't say. I. You know, Jeter. It could be. I would father his son, but. Yep. I don't think that's how science works, but go ahead. But but he's not on the he's not on Mount Rushmore. I'm, Babe Ruth hit sixty home runs in a year when like the next best team hit twelve. <laughs> it, it, yep, yeah, that's fact. We googled it. That's another fact. That's another fact. And 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 there's nothing else but like there's nothing but like fun, jovial stories about Babe Ruth. I mean, and, and then maybe that was like a, fe- a friendlier time, and you could he could like buy hookers and and you know (laughs) drink uh until game time and you know show up half naked and like oh it's all it's the babe you know he's a he's he's just a happy-go-lucky home run hitting guy but i don't know hard to beat hard to beat the babe for me new balance 3000 v3 that's great cleat man that's the one good job by them yeah good job by them that's the one. Um, that's the one that can go up. I mean, even the forty forty as well. But once I saw um, Bogarts three thousand, it was like, oh, that's that's it. That's a that's a ten out of ten. And anybody who wants to do better than that is gonna have to just do, do take it take it to an entirely new level. And they they've got them custom. Um, everybody says they're so comfortable. All yeah, they them look comfortable, like the inside of them with the memory foam little inserts that they have. Uh, they've written what a year for them. Custom cleats, you know, a bunch of their guys had career years. And good stuff. American made, American made customs. Yep. Uh, but the four, the V three forty forty, with uh, like the mid, those look like a. When I say gangster, I mean good. I mean that's a good thing. Um, those are some gangster ass mids that I would. I don't like mid cleats, but they look sick. I don't know. Yeah, like uh, honestly, like if the game wore those cleats, I wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> yeah, and I hope. I hope. I hope the game is listening right now and doesn't take any offense <laughs> in me saying that because he's a scary dude. But no, but that's a compliment. I think. Yeah, I can see the game wearing him because he is a gangster ass guy to me. Yeah, yeah, totally. Ben decided that the Adidas Boost Icon twos for Clemente were the best of the year. Um, I think that's something you and I need to debate as well. Sure. Um, but Adidas, obviously, on the map, um, they yep. put themselves on the map this past year. They made no made no uh, mistake about it. They signed uh, Chris Bryant long term. It seems like um, Correa. They signed Correa seemingly long term uh, with some big money, I'm sure. And uh, and they put their best cleats on them. They put uh, these the Boost Icon twos, which are really like that's the one for me. I was like, oh, phenomenal. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that you guys were really going to do this. But now we've got uh, we've got another player. So uh, Ben loves the afterburner. He says afterburner three. He says it's the, his favorite cleat of all time. Uh, he loves the that aggressive and and streamlined and fast look. I completely agree with him. <clears throat> I've got them in the in the house here. I still haven't sent out the the winner uh, for the last contest we did, but I'm going to send them out. Uh, this week probably, but uh, it, I, I don't know how they'd hold up is really what my thought is on them. I mean, they seem very similar to the heist, so you know maybe they they would hold up well. Um, 
very, very minimal, minimalist, but also like really aggressive at the same time. And they have the, the dipped collection and, and the rest of the colorways that they had. Is, and that's just, you know, like you said, you're a colorway guy. That's got to be oh, – that's yeah. huge. It's huge. Yeah, they, they, they popped this year to me as a brand. You know, everything they've done has kind of popped because they flashed a lot of different colorways, uh, like very heavily custom and very, you know, trying to be innovative and, and reach maybe the younger generation, or at least in my opinion, that's what they're trying to do. And their effort uh, definitely showed. Yeah. Their, their stuff was great. And if, I think if, you if were I were going to make a jump – from Nike slash Jumpman, it would, it would be to the Boost Icon too. Really? Yep. But here's my complaint: no MCS, no molded, no molded in these guys. So mm. that's a complaint. Adidas, what's going, listening? What's going on with them? I can't, I can't wear your cleats, guys, because I'm going to sprain my ankle. So. Yeah, and he's going to do it on a, a would be triple play. Yeah. And he's trying to make Sports Center. So. Yep. Yeah. What if the Red Sox were there? You know? I would give Adidas a look too, but for me, it's probably it leads us to our next point. As much as I've loved the heist, I think I would buy the dominant uh, from Mizuno. I really, it's hideous in that green and silver and camo color, color that they gave for the All Star Game mm-hmm. to Chris Sale, but. Um, it's it's a really it's a, to me it's a really nice looking cleat. It you know Mizuno doesn't really put out they don't put out bad products in my opinion. I don't I think I, I've not owned too many, but they haven't stuck around this long without without putting out good good products. So I think if I was gonna buy a cleat for performance, I think it might be the either the heist or the or this new dominant. Um, I see. And again, my my email is Mike at what pros wear for hate mail. Yep. Fire it right over. Fire it right over. But I actually don't disagree, especially with the quality of uh, the couple, the few Mizuno baseball products I've had. Um, I can't say that I've worn their cleats, even though some of them I thought were really clean. Um, but every Mizuno product I've ever had, very high quality. Yeah. Yeah. And the gloves. Yep. The gloves. I've had a Mizuno glove. You have? I, I had a bat. Um, batting gloves. This is back a little bit, but everything has lasted a very, very long time. You had a, you had a, which, what kind of glove do you remember? I don't. It was like transitioning from middle school into high school, like my first two years of high school. So I don't really remember the, the series or the brand, and uh, it was just high quality leather. So yeah, yeah, they're they're as good as it gets. Now that we've now that we've gone through that, I think we're pretty much exhausted that list. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing any cleats that you think should should be on this list. Uh, I mean, the only thing is I was surprised in a way that they weren't on there because I thought they were so big in 2016 where just the Harachi 2K filth line, because those were everywhere in both low and mid. Uh, we didn't really talk about them. They were, had to have been the most customized cleats, those in the Jordan 4. Yeah. Uh, didn't even look like anything I would ever wear. Definitely can't wear the lows, as I mentioned, and... The mids looked, I don't know, kind of like a boot, but not in a good way. Like yeah. Talked about before. Yeah. But uh, saw a lot of those this year. I heard. Guys. I I I mean, they, they seem like the 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 cleat you get if you're a Nike guy in the in the minors and the and the majors. Um, did I think that they were a great looking cleat? No. Did I hear very good things about them? No. Um, those turfs though, yeah. For some I reason, guess. I don't know what the, I don't know why, but man, those turfs, so sick. Nike keeps on just crushing turfs. I know, I do agree. The tr- I mean, we didn't even talk about the trout turfs; they're ridiculous oh as well. My God. I think for me, I think the, the twos, the Miami twos. Oh my God! Yeah, the Miami Knights; those are ridiculous. So sick. Um, but yeah, okay. So that that brings me to the the final thought, I guess, is the twenty sixteen your favorite cleat is. Are we talking custom or are we talking just baseline? You can get find the colorway on any website type of thing. The single 
sexiest cleat on the face of the planet. The single most unforgettable, most beautiful, most spectacular <laughs> cleat in your soul. The one like I don't wow, know. Wow, in my in my soul. That's yeah. deep. Yeah. You can only pick so one. Actually, it, I don't even have to really think about it because this one it like I sometimes I wake up and I see <laughs> I see the Moon Boot Customs Fourth of July Harachi Lowe's to get built <laughs> that he did uh, for I don't know a player in that independent league that he plays in. Yeah, I'm looking at them and right now. They're just they're. I mean, those are so nice. Those are the two two of my favorite things. They're baseball in America. Yeah, and he just put it. He just he crushed both those things. So yeah, yeah. A lot of good Fourth of July. Three or three Customs did a great job for Brandon Barnes on his. Yep. USA beats Nomad Customs killed the pair. I mean, all the Fourth of July stuff is always my favorite. There's a Adidas did a great job with their Boost Icon twos. Yep. Uh, but those Moon Boot ones, man. That's, uh, if I wore though, I, I think I said this about one of the. You'd wear them to the mall. Uh, no, no, I, I, I want to be buried in them. I want to be buried in that pair of cleats. That's. That's really, really spiritual. Yeah, I mean, what higher praise can I say? Can mm. I pay a pair of cleats? Yeah. No, you can't. Did those score on Ben's list? I don't. I think we had the number ones were the Clemente, the number twos were the Trout uh, MVPs, the number threes were Jose Fernandez, uh, 2K filth, uh, and, yep. si and silver, which were sick. So Ben has. He's got the Jackie Robinsons as a uh, the honorable mention. He's got the Ortiz walk-offs. Ooh, man. The Ortiz, um, shoot, was it the, I think it was the ones they did for maybe maybe uh, the Rays, his Rays customs that were like, that had the hammerhead on them. Yep. Those, those were dirty. Um, I like those a lot. I'm looking to see if they had the if Ben had the moon boots, but I don't think he did. They belonged on there. I think that was a miss by Ben. I'm gonna be real. Sorry, Ben. Ben, it was a miss. But Sorry, uh, but we still we, we, we still really we still want you to write for us. Yep. And uh, we still think you're great. Uh, but that was a big miss. Huge. So yeah, the five number five was Dominic Smith's uh, Trout Threes. From the Futures game. I, I think they were cool. Dominic was pretty happy. That he was number 5. Do I think they were the one of the top 5 cleats of, of the year? I mean if you're putting Trout's MVPs on there. It's probably not. Then the number 4 was Bryce Harper's uh, unanimous. They're the gold and black Harper ones. Very sick. Very sick. I think I would still go for the neon, or was it tequila sunrise? I don't know what he's calling them, but yeah, tequila the, sunrise. Definitely. The red and the red and the greens. Those were for me. Those are my favorite. What brand do you think made the biggest leap this year, brand wise? Just for cleats, just footwear alone. I, I I think you have to say Adidas. You have to. Yeah, it's close. I think I think for me it's between Adidas. In New Balance, and I'll give the slight edge to Adidas. Yeah. And I think just by sheer effort alone, you know, I mean, I don't know how close everyone was paying attention, but they were driving around in, in Ubers after Chris Bryant won the MVP handed out T-shirts and stuff, if you tweeted at them. So, that's, yeah. I mean, they, they put the work in. That's A-plus effort, and yeah. I do, yeah, I do appreciate that. So I got a dark horse. I got a dark horse cleat of the year. Okay. And again, people might get what pros wear. Okay. I'm for, worried. For hate mail. Um, but you're not, you might not even remember these. Matt Kemp, Ultra Flies, for some reason they're green. For some reason they're forest green. I have no idea why. Padres, right? It's Padres days before he went to Atlanta? It. I think you posted it and you tagged the Braves, and it was September twenty eighth. So no way it was uh, right. the Padres. I have no idea why he was wearing green, but they're green and they're money. They're so money. 
look, again, I'm a solid color guy. I'm, I don't need the bells and whistles. I just want the cleats to, to complement the rest of what I got going on. Because I got a lot going on. So those, those forest green Matt Kemp ultra flies are probably, probably my cleat of the year. Wow. That's that you really did go off the reservation. Yeah. Ooh. The ultra flies. Okay. Can I change my my vote? Can I change my vote? Yes. yes. Please, right? You want me to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Kinsler's. It's the Kinsler ultra flies. Look back on those. Look back on those. True Blue, True Blue Customs did them up for him. Got his number in there. Got this cool like little honeycomb pattern and then he put lightning and shit in it got the yep, I remember. tigers logo those are so fresh i can't even stand it i can't stand it i need those send- i need yeah, those right. if in green in green give me the green lightning because i'm a, I, I, my team is green let's get weird you know let's do it let's just get weird <laughs>